Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew, and today in Overwatch, I want to talk a little bit about pre-ordering, whether or not it's worth it, and sort of talking a little bit whether or not you should get the uh, Standard Edition or the Origins Edition for Overwatch. Now, before you guys be like, oh no, pre-ordering is, is essentially an interest-free loan for Blizzard, and it's a terrible business practice by gaming companies. Well, let's look at what you get from pre-ordering. So one of the benefits of actually pre-ordering Overwatch is that you and a friend can get in the Overwatch open beta a couple days early. So if the uh, open beta starts normally from May 5th to May 9th, you and a friend can get in starting on May 3rd. Which is nice, I mean that kind of depends on how much you really value uh, the open beta, how much you're really itching to play Overwatch. And I guess this is sort of Blizzard's way of sort of incentivizing a lot of the only watch players into getting in. Now another benefit of pre-ordering Overwatch is you get an exclusive Widowmaker skin, the Noir skin or Noir skin, depending, uh, it means black in French, okay, it means black. And essentially it looks like this. And uh, it's up to you to decide if this is worth it. In my opinion, if you want to look special and like all exclusive and stuff, that's probably not going to happen because uh, I'm pretty sure a good number of other people will also have that skin. So if you want that skin to kind of stand out, just remember that every single person who pre-ordered Overwatch like you will also be using that skin. So, uh, yeah. Now a lot of people ask, well, Candy, have you pre-ordered Overwatch? And yeah, I have. And I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, Oh, Candy, how could you? Oh my god, you're just, you're just succumbing to the corporate overlords. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been able to play the closed beta for quite some time now. It seems like a very promising game. Uh, I could definitely benefit from the early uh, access to just kind of get into the beta a couple of days early to continue pumping out Overwatch material for my, for my channel. Uh, the skin is nice too, just kind of throw it in there. So overall, just kind of the whole package, I'm going to be buying the game anyways. I just did it. Uh, now whether or not you should do it, that is completely up to you. I mean that's up to your financial situation or your stance on pre-ordering games. I know a lot of people are anti-pre-ordering games and sort of frowned upon quote unquote, but I don't know, I, get, I guess I could really give less of a fuck. And this all sort of boils down to, you know, Standard Edition or Origins Edition. I have such a hard time saying Origins Edition. Uh, but yeah, the price difference between the two is $20. So Standard is $40, Origins is 60 And again, the benefits between these two, I'll list it out here on the screen for you guys. But uh, the, the main difference is essentially a bunch of in-game stuff, digital stuff. Uh, you have uh, a Tracer from Hearthstone, you have War uh, World of Warcraft, a baby Winston pet, uh, you have a card back uh, for Hearthstone, Diablo, Mercy Wings, you have uh, StarCraft stuff. So, I mean, I don't really play any of these games. I played StarCraft back in the day when it was Brood War, but that's just sort of value that you may or may not actually give a shit about. You know, for me, I don't play any of these games, at least not anymore, so I don't really care. However, the interesting bits for me are the Origins skins, and that includes Bastion, uh, one for Pharaoh, one for 76, one for uh, Reaper, and one for Tracer. A lot of people actually already have these skins in games, and this is actually, uh, this is actually something I want to talk about, uh, is that if you pre-order the Origins Edition, through Amazon or anything that's not battle.net, like that's not through Blizzard directly, you're not going to be able to use these Origin skins in closed beta. I'm sure most of you guys don't have this problem or wish you had this problem, but for the few out there who are still in the closed beta, it's something to note. If you guys want to guess how I know this, a, a gander, a stab at it, a hypothesis if you will, uh, yeah, I was one of the people who ordered it through Amazon. It's pretty sucky because I can't actually use these skins in closed beta enough. If there's a way to use it and I'm missing something, I can't figure it out. And a lot of people on the subreddit, on the forums, also have run into this issue, so I know I'm not the only one. It just kind of sucks for me, especially because I don't really have, you know, all these cool skins now. I would love, love, love to make a freaking skins showcase, you know, in first person so you guys can kind of check it out. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, if you're in the closed beta now, sort of 
you know, wor words of warning there. Anyway, so, but I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry, guys. So the comparison is between the $40 standard or the $60 Origins. Um, the main difference here is, of course, the skins. The, the stuff that most people are going to care about are the origin skins. And if you, this kind of goes back to the pre-order sort of thing with the Widowmaker skin. If you want to look cool in MLG, just kind of bear in mind that a lot of people are also buying the Origins edition, so you're not going to really stand out. I mean, no one's going to be like, whoa! You have the overgrown Bastion skin. Well, yeah, chances are, you know, 30% or 40% of the population is going to already have that skin. I just made those numbers up, but you guys get the point. Not to mention the art department for Blizzard seems to be pumping out new and cooler skins, like, pretty frequently, at least in the closed beta. And then you sort of have the people who collect skins for some sort of value, right? People like investing in cosmetics in certain games like CSGO or Dota 2 because they're like, oh, maybe this will have value later on. Uh, so far, from what I've read, I don't think Blizzard's going to introduce any sort of trading. So if you try and look at Overwatch cosmetics as sort of an investment type thing, I don't think that's going to work out for you just because... I mean, so many people are going to have the Origin skins, so I don't think it's going to be anything rare for a very, very long time or ever. So the value really depends on how much you value your $20, right? Like, do you like the skins for what they are, right? Are you a collector of sorts? For me, the 20 bucks was, eh, you know, pretty much worth it. I mean, most AAA titles are 60 bucks anyways, and considering Blizzard has says all future heroes and maps and stuff, they're all going to be free. I figured the 20 bucks is just, you know, it's fine. It's it's fine. <laughs> I guess I fall into that collector category, uh, but that's totally up to you. At the end of the day, your $20 is your $20. So if you want to buy Overwatch and you're debating between Standard and Origins, keep in mind that the only thing you're really getting are skins that everyone else is probably going to already have. Not everyone else, but, you know, most people are already going to have. So... I guess for the big spenders out there, there is always the Collector's Edition, which is going to be $130, and all you're really getting is a Soldier 76 statue, uh, visual source books, and a soundtrack CD thing. And nice packaging. It does have some nice packaging, but I feel like the general population isn't really torn between $40 and $130. You know, if you want to spend that much money on the Collector's Edition, you're probably going to do it no matter what. Yeah, so I hope this video has been helpful for you guys in sort of figuring out whether or not the Origins Edition is worth it for you and whether or not pre-purchasing Overwatch at all is worth it for you. Let me know down in the comments whether or not you will be pre-purchasing, and if you do pre-purchase, if you'll be getting the Origins or or the standard edition. Alrighty guys, that's about it for today and I'll see you in the next one.